Hi, so you're probably clicked on this video because you want to learn how to do telekinesis, yeah? Um, okay, okay, I gotcha. Um, I have a little bit of experience with telekinesis as I was practicing for about three years now. I was starting out with aerokinesis, but, yes, but, what I was starting with before aerokinesis is spirituality, yeah. So, did you hear about this quote? A good teacher will not tell you what are you looking at, but he will tell you where to look for it, right? Or however it was. <laughs> you get the point. Um, so that's basically my philosophy. And yeah, telekinesis is cool, okay? It's a very cool thing, especially for people who are curious as if... Is there something more, like... It can be out there is, right? Or some people try to deny it because they are scared it will change their reality, change their illusions, perhaps. Yeah. But that's not the point of telekinesis, at least for me. And I think a lot of people will agree, especially the one that takes telekinesis seriously because yes you can learn how to do telekinesis and cool it will be a fun play for five minutes until you get bored but what is actually cool what is actually more valuable is when it's approve when it's a manifestation of belief because what is telekinesis is a physical manifestation of universal laws you know the laws of oneness and it's the proof for it it's the proof that we are the ones all and one, one and all, we are all able to connect back to everything around us. That's, that's the purpose of telekinesis. It's a physical manifestation of universal laws, okay? And when you start learning about spirituality, and when you start understanding it, and when you start experiencing it, then it's when telekinesis becomes really, really freaking interesting, you know? Because that's exactly what it is about. That's exactly what it is about. It's about being one. I am this piece of toil, tin foil. And so if I am this tin foil, I can move it with my mind because I am it. It's me. I am this tinfoil and this tinfoil is me. So I can move it. Right? I can move it. Because it's me, right? And that's when telekinesis becomes actually interesting. So, if you want to learn telekinesis, don't do it just because it's cool. It's not cool when you do this because of wrong reasons. It's not cool. If you do it to show off before in front of people, it's not. It's a way of feeling insecurities. It's a way of you finding something that will make you feel better about yourself and that is never a good thing to do, okay? Because then we become codependent. Besides, telekinesis is not a game and it can be dangerous Especially if you are not having a spiritual mindset. Because then 
it's not you controlling your mind and mind controlling object it's your mind unawarely controlling the object and it's not telekinesis so before you start practicing make sure that you are in the right mindset okay because mindset is all that you actually need for telekinesis you can learn telekinesis in one day but that's not the not the point point is not in the telekinesis point is your mind in your mind blockages that's why no one will ever learn telekinesis in one day because changing mindset changing beliefs breaking free from them it's what is actually most um tough about telekinesis about learning it but it's actually where it becomes such an interesting practice because it helps you adapt your mindset to different things you know that's why i think no one should start off by telekinesis because it's a really tough tough thing to do when you're just a normal person normal person who isn't actually in spirituality or self development and then you try to change your beliefs so drastically so it's really a good idea to start off with spiritual practice with trying to change some of the more realistic beliefs with doing shadow work with with i don't know changing your mindset about reality about you know just all of those things but just my personal opinion on that but if you want to do telekinesis i can't really um forbid you starting off with it doing it what i mean is it's far more valuable if you do it for right reasons if you know the knowledge about this the basics of it when does it come from because telekinesis isn't just some practice it's as i said it's a physical manifestation of universal laws and when you get those laws and when you change your beliefs according to those laws it will be far more easier to learn telekinesis but that's not the point because when you do it for spiritually reasons it actually brings you more belief to your belief system it brings you more reassurance towards the re- beliefs that you are building to from spirituality it brings you lessons because yes you can learn spiritually spirituality wise from telekinesis the lessons it gives you the the way you connect to an object and you can literally feel it you can literally move it you can literally be a part of this it's not about controlling anyone it's not about controlling anything telekinesis is not the point about this you don't control anything you are everything and anything and that's the whole point of it some people have absolutely wrong beliefs which i will not um judge because that's not my role here but i think personally that doing telekinesis for ego boosting reasons and for showing off in front of others or feeling your insecurities is not a good way here because first of all telekinesis is not a super ability it's not a super power and anyone have it and can have it and can learn it okay so don't ever think that you are better because of telekinesis or because you can manipulate the environment around you it's not the point in that it's completely not the point so i will leave you once again with a sentence telekinesis is a physical manifestation of laws of universe okay so yep oh one 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 more thing if you really want to do telekinesis and you are thinking seriously about this and if you are really doing it for right reasons like 
spirituality, self-development, then yeah, ask yourself why. Ask yourself why do you want to do this? Because if you, you're doing it for wrong reasons or you have no reasons at all, then what's the point? I think it's important that we know why we do certain things. And that's another lesson that comes from doing telekinesis is questioning yourself, why do you want to do this? Why do you do certain things in your life? Why? And what meaning they have to you? Okay? So ask yourself, so ask yourself, why do you want to do this? And what meaning it has for you? Don't do it just because it's cool. Or because you want to see if something is, I don't know, something cool. Like, don't do this because of that. That's a, that's a stupid reason. Um, don't do it because you want to look cool. Or because you want to feel better about yourself. Or because you want to be admired by people. So... Don't do it because you want to look cool, because you think it's cool, because you want other people to think you are cool and admire you, because you want to feel your insecurities, because you want to feel better about yourself. Those are not the good reasons. It's not a good reason to do anything, okay? It's not. If you are about to do something, do it because it brings you growth, do it because it brings meaning to your life, do it. Because you simply do it for yourself, not for others, not for... So, don't do it because you think it's cool, don't do it because of any other reason than you're doing it for yourself, for your growth, for... Just because it brings meaning to your life, some kind of value. Because if it doesn't, why do it? Why do something just because it's cool? Also, we sometimes see cool things and we adapt to them because we think they are simply cool, not because we are actually attracted to the idea. We are attracted to the idea of being cool, of seeming cool. But sometimes it doesn't have anything to do with thing that we consider cool. It just doesn't, and it doesn't attract us. It doesn't bring value over than us boosting our ego and feeling cooler. So, not really purposeful. So yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. So I hope you brought some value out of this video. I hope it helped you in any way because I feel like there's no more important thing, no more essential thing to what I can all of the things I just said about. So, I don't know. Take it or leave it. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think in comments, okay? Take care.